question I'm often asked is, what do I do to get ready for my trip to Aconcagua or my trip to Kilimanjaro? In other words, how can I optimize my performance at altitude? And the unfortunate truth is, I usually quote my mentor, Peter Hackett. And what he will tell people when they ask that question is, the best thing you can do to get ready for altitude is, choose your parents well. When I say choose your parents well, what I really mean is that your genetic makeup is the primary determinant of how well you perform at altitude. Some people tend to do really well at altitude, and that's based on a number of variables, including something called hypoxic ventilatory response, how fast people breathe, and a host of other issues. Bottom line is, some people do well at altitude, some people don't. And you're going to have to live with your genetics. I'm not suggesting that you should sit on your couch and eat bonbons before a big expedition. But the bottom line, in terms of altitude, there's very little you can do to get ready for altitude other than exposing yourself to higher altitudes. Now clearly, if you're in better, better cardiovascular shape, your performance will improve just as it would at sea level. But specifically, to make yourself ready for altitude, there's nothing you can do really other than exposing yourself to altitude, whether that's in a chamber or in an altitude tent or up on the mountain. With mountaineering, like most sports, specificity is still the order of the day. So if you're going to be carrying heavy loads slowly up steep mountains, you should train by carrying heavy loads slowly up steep mountains. Certainly, the more you can increase your strength, your endurance, your cardiovascular fitness, the better your performance will be on the mountain. But there's really very little you can do to avoid mountain sickness or problems associated with altitude other than just really appropriate acclimatization and a staged ascent.